Let's learn how to use Noodle tools to create notes from a source. And we're going to have both direct quotations and paraphrases in our notes. So let's say that I am on my project page and I am uh, doing a project on pyramids and I've created a bibliography card, a citation for a Wikipedia site but I don't have any notes yet so I come over to uh, note cards and I'm over here and I'm gonna click new so what I want to do is I'm gonna come in and what noodle tools tells me uh, as I look at some of the tips over here uh, for my title it says a short phrase that reminds you of the content of this note card and I may not know that yet uh, it gives me, uh, it asks me to put the URL in, the web address. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because that will be helpful later. I don't have any piles of cards, so I'll leave that blank. There are no pages because it's a website and I haven't tagged it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm in direct quotation. So I'm going to come up here and I'm on my Wikipedia pyramid page. Okay, so what I can do if I want, if this basic card is going to be information about what a pyramid is then I might just go ahead and take this from Wikipedia I may later put this in my research paper so I'm gonna go back to my noodle tools page and I'm under direct quotation and I'm just gonna paste this in so I can come up here paste this plain text paste from word and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this plain text and it gives me this little control V thing so I'll go ahead and do that and I'm going to go ahead and insert it. So there it is. And now that is a direct quote. Okay, so if I use this in my paper, I know that this is an exact quote from my Wikipedia article. Right now, I'm going to go and I'm going to come down to the paraphrase section. So you see I'm down here and we're going to do that. We're going to paraphrase. We're going to kind of rewrite it. So if I come up back to my Wikipedia article and I find things that I may want to add. So let's say I come in here to this uh, part of Greece and it says that uh, there are also at least two surviving pyramid-like structures still available to study. I'm going to take this and, and I'm going to put this into my own words. So I'm just going to work back and forth. I'm going to come to my noodle page again and I'm going to say Greece has two surviving pyramids. They are, and I'm going to come back up to my Wikipedia just to remember, um, and I'm going to say one at, and, and I'll go ahead and copy this even though I'm paraphrasing. I'll go ahead and copy this part of it because I would just have to remember how to type that anyway so I'll come back in I'll right click and I'll paste that in um, they are and then I'm gonna say instead of R1 at I'm just gonna delete that they are at uh, Hellenican and the other at uh, LaGuardia and, and I'll just leave that that's not a huge note but I, it, it's still a note and, and if I need more I can come down to my ideas things that I am interpreting questioning I might add something to that um, should we talk about other countries and pyramids and, and then I'll discuss this with my team and we'll figure out you know what we want to do with that so now I'm gonna save it and I'll save and uh, that should work this time so now I have down here my web link to my source that's my um, bibliography card my citation and it shows me here that I've got a note and I can I can show my note and I've got a quote that I can put in a paper and I've got a paraphrase that I can put in a paper when I'm talking about pyramids so what happens later I'm gonna move all of this probably probably to an outline and I'm gonna move maybe this over to an outline and then eventually that's gonna go into my paper and the citation at the end which goes in parentheses will of course be called pyramid 
um, because it comes from Wikipedia and that'll be on a works cited page. So that's a little bit about taking notes from a source